Hi, this is Paul from Wave5Trade.com. This is my daily stock signals video for Monday, the 2nd of July, where I take just one of our signals from our members area and set it up on the chart and show you how it's all done. So, in our members area here, we are down on the right hand side, we've got potential long fifth wave trades on the weekly, daily, and 60 minute time frame short fifth wave trades on the same time frames and then intraday stochastic longs and stochastic shorts i'm going to look at uh, fifth wave trades on for shorts uh, today in the membership area as you can see we've got plenty of days uh, history here uh, every day our members simply click on the image and download the spreadsheet so today's spreadsheet looks something like this so these are potential shorts. After a bit of a bullish day on Friday, uh, we've got quite a few on the 60 minute time frame here. I was down at the bottom here, you can see there's daily and weekly signals for today uh, on those time frames. But I'm gonna concentrate on the 60 minute time frame today. I'm gonna have a look and set up one of these. So let's have a look at the chart. So I've gone for HLT on the 60 minute time frame. We're going for the short, remember. So first of all, for those members that have our indicator suite, this is the wave5trade.com Elliott Wave indicator suite for the Ninja Trader MTA uh, platform. We also have it for TradeStation, Multicharts, and Think or Swim. To isolate here, we've gone to uh, around about June the 7th here, this high, and have isolated the bar count here. That allows our software to automatically label the Elliott wave count here. You can see we've had a small correction at the top here, then we've had a wave one, a two, a three, and a wave four. Uh, our uh, indicator suite automatically does that. So let's talk about the, the scanner results and what that means. First of all, with some initial filters. Okay, so. The first filter is that we've had a wave four pullback. So we've had a pullback against the main trend on this six minute time frame here. And the wave fours found resistance in the amber zone here. And this is our automated probability zone. So this is an 80% probability. It's gonna go on and make a new wave five low into our automated target zone here down in blue. So this is just printed on Friday in the last hour as we pulled away from this wave four high. Uh, and closed uh, at the low for that last hour bar on Friday there. So we've got the automated target zone down here, around about $76, something like that, seventy-five, eighty. dollars uh, The next filter is the 535 oscillator down here. This is pulled back between 90 and 140%, as you can see from the wave three. Uh, that's a really good sign. And then the stochastic has pulled back against these false breakout dots. So these denote a strong bearish move and the stochastic's pulled back in the overbought zone against that. And the probability is it wants to go on and join back to that uh, main bearish trend there. So let's look at the setup for this now. Quite simply, we have a 6-4 moving average low, the red moving average here. Now, this is our starting point for potential entries here. Now, it did end up very well. The last hour um, it was quite a good red full candle there from that wave 4 high on, on uh, Friday. So we're looking to be reasonably aggressive in the first hour of Monday's session with an entry at 78.41 just outside of the 6.4 moving average low. The stop loss is just above the wave 4 but also above the whole $80 mark. So 80.06 is the stop loss. We're above most of this uh, noise here and again in the entry you can see we're way below all of the noise uh, in this range bound period as well. So very, very simple setup. We've got those initial uh, signals from our membership area uh, with, those, with those specific filters for that pullback on the wave four into our probability zones. The 535 is good, the stochastic's good. All we've got to do then is set it up and we use the 6-4 moving average low as our entry strategy or the starting point for it. Uh, and then we simply set it up. So 7841 uh, short entry on HLT on the 60 minute time frame and then the stop loss is at 80.06 target around about 75 75 into our target zone here which is automated okay so that's it for today have a great trading day a great trading week and i'll speak to you all tomorrow